County Supervisor Tara Lawson-Reamer is leading the charge against corporate home ownership in San Diego. And the federal government may soon be supporting that cause. Good evening, I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Tomorrow, President Biden plans to unveil a new plan to control the rising cost of housing, capping rent increases at 5% a year. This new proposal targets corporate landlords, which would first need congressional approval. This comes as the president is facing increased calls to tame inflation. CBS 8's Richard Allen has more on who would benefit from this proposed cap. And President Biden hinted at his upcoming announcement last week at his NATO news conference, blaming inflation on companies trying to maximize their profits following the pandemic. If I'm reelected, we're going to make sure that rents are kept at 5% increase of corporate rents for apartments and the like and homes are limited to 5%. With the average rent in San Diego now exceeding $3,100 a month, according to Zillow, this move to cap how much landlords can increase rent is welcome news. Currently in San Diego, the cap is 10% annually for rental housing built before February 1995. Rent's just nuts. Um and it just keeps going up and up. San Diego and Gabriel Fish and his wife deal with major rent hikes every year. And while their cost of housing is rising, their household income is not. We got to hustle and pick up extra shifts and, and work a little bit harder to make up the difference. Under Biden's proposal, which is expected to be officially unveiled on Tuesday in Nevada, this 5% annual cap would apply to landlords who own 50 or more units, but would not apply to housing that has not yet been built. The plan would also require congressional approval to become law. I'm behind it. San Diegan Yolanda Brock, who shares an apartment with her sister, says it's difficult to keep up with yearly rent increases. It's unfortunate, you know, how high it is here. You know, you're working full time. So I'm a San Diego native and the high rates. And so it's just you're trying to find like a middle ground. And so this will be very helpful if this goes into effect. And here on the county level, Supervisor Tara Lawson-Reamer is also taking aim at corporate landlords, proposing at an upcoming Board of Supervisors meeting to combat the growing practice of Wall Street investors buying up homes and apartments for profit. They are deliberately fixing prices, colluding to drive up rents, and it's illegal and it has to stop. And tomorrow's Board of Supervisors meeting gets underway at 9 a.m. at the County Administration Building.